Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate you guys supporting my journey. If it's your first time here, I'm Vanessa. I make natural hair videos, including lots of DIYs to help us grow strong, healthy, and long natural hair. So consider hitting that subscribe button, guys, and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content from me. So in today's video, I am going to show you a hair treatment that you can certainly incorporate into your regimen. Um, to help you grow stronger, longer, thicker and healthier hair. So if you're interested, be sure to keep on watching and watch till the end of the video guys so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now the first ingredient we will be using for this recipe will be some shea butter. Shea butter has anti-inflammatory properties. It also contains fatty acids which are essential nutrients that help to treat the scalp, you know, and sort of help improve its overall overall health and also it strengthens the hair follicles reduces hair loss and it can actually make your your hair grow thicker as well so i used about maybe two tablespoons of shea butter here it's difficult to know the quantity because it's solid in consistency but again you can use more or less it just depends on you guys so the next ingredient will be some coconut oil I'm using raw extra virgin coconut oil here and coconut oil also is great because it helps penetrate, you know, it penetrates the hair shaft and it can actually, um, you know, be good for hair because it's really moisturizing, it reduces breakage and also prevents protein loss from the hair. So really, really good. And then the next one will be some olive oil. I used about a third of a cup of olive oil here guys but again you can you know switch these quantities depending on you know how much you're trying to make um, so and also the oils don't necessarily have to be the same you can try uh, you know avocado oil or um, argan oil like any other oil that you've got pretty much so I'm just kind of breaking the shea butter into smaller pieces here so that it's easier to melt when I put it in the hot water bath um, so I'm just adding some water here from the kettle um, just to allow this whole thing to melt <laughs> So this is pretty straightforward guys I mean it does take a little bit of time to melt but if you constantly stir it um, when it is in the hot water it will definitely melt a bit faster than perhaps if you just left it on its own but again you can also put it on the stove if you want to it will melt so much quicker um, as well so just just do what what you think you know is best for you so at this point it had pretty much fully melted um, which was really good look at that color guys really nice and yellow it just i think the color looks really good anyway so then we are now going to mix it with the other ingredients that um you know uh, I, I needed for this recipe now i made some aloe vera juice i did not show how i did this guys because you know it's quite repetitive i have plenty of videos on my channel on how to make aloe vera juice so if you're new here definitely check you know my channel out i will also see if i can find a video for you guys and link it up here you can check it out um very it's very nice and simple so i just added the aloe vera juice to that and i also made some aloe vera, um sorry fenugreek um you know juice that um i'm gonna pour in there as well now and to make that it's pretty easy guys you can just decide to soak you know some uh, fenugreek seeds in water for a few hours and then drain it or you can boil it as well now fenugreek is amazing for hair growth as well guys um because of the fact that you know it, it definitely can make your hair um stronger it's a rich source of vitamin a k and c folic acid, uh, folic acid potassium calcium iron and protein and these are actually nutrients that are essential for hair growth um and then i went in to add some moringa powder again this is optional guys you don't necessarily need to use moringa if you don't have it uh, moringa is also good because it's fully packed with vitamins that are certainly known to strengthen the hair and also i added about a tablespoon of amla powder now amla powder thickens the hair reduces hair loss so it's got some amazing uh, benefits all together so mix everything together and then we're going to go ahead and whip this uh, using a hand mixer 
now you can pop this in the freezer if you want for just a few minutes you know just to allow it to sort of uh, thicken a little bit um it will sort of shorten this process for you um but i just went ahead and i mixed it you know straight away now this is a kind of consistency that i ended up with guys it wasn't really the consistency that i wanted to go for you can see it's very watery here so i popped that in the freezer for just a few minutes i think it was about five minutes or so and this is what it looks like after it's just come out of the freezer and then i'm gonna you know rip it again just so i can get a slightly thicker consistency now bear in mind that when you let this rest you know for a few minutes it thickens up even more so you will get to see it you know as i'm applying it to my hair you'll see that it's a completely different texture to what we have here so you don't want it extremely thick because you know when it rests it will definitely thicken even more so this is pretty much what it looks like guys as a final product now i'm ready to apply this to my hair and I'm just going to show you basically how I do that. I'm starting here on pretty much dry, dirty hair. To be honest, my scalp was really, really dirty and it was definitely time, you know, um, to wash my hair. But I wanted to treat it first before you know shampooing um the reason why i did this guys is because i've noticed recently that my hair has been pretty dry and that's because i haven't really had the time to you know take off my hair as i usually do so yeah it just felt really really dry but it's fine i mean i'm ready to um to wash it you know treat it how i normally do anyways so this is what the texture of this uh, treatment looks like guys after it sat for a little bit i think it was about maybe like half an hour uh in a cool place so you can see it's much thicker than what we had before so i'm just going ahead here and applying it to my scalp you know massaging that in nicely because obviously you you want to get the benefits you know of this amazing nutrients that we put in it um so apply that to your scalp massage that in and also apply it along the length of your hair including your ends okay ends are pretty important especially if you're trying to retain length because if it's all is dry it is always going to break and you're not going to see that length coming through so it's really important that you apply it to your ends as well and this treatment is amazing guys i'm telling you it is so so moisturizing like after you shampoo your hair after using this you will be amazed at how soft your hair will feel like you don't get that kind of softness you know after shampooing your hair normally but you will once you use this treatment it is just definitely so good guys can you see the definition of my curls like you can already see how moisturized this is looking and we haven't even added like any water or anything i was literally so shocked you know when i realized that you know my hair was just so nice and soft my curls was looking were looking good um so yeah really really good i'll definitely suggest that you give this a try guys i'm sure you will definitely like it because it's very nourishing it's very moisturizing um for our hair look at those curls like look at the curls guys amazing i was just really happy with this um so yeah i pretty much you know apply that to that section massage that in i see and i'm gonna go ahead and twist that section um and then do like a small bantu knot just to prevent it you know from drying out while i work on the other uh, sections of my hair pretty much once you apply this to your hair guys you know as you're applying you can definitely feel the difference like your hair already feels really nice and moisturized really has so much slip you know it's just really good so if your hair is generally dry i get asked this question quite a lot in the comment section of my videos how to deal with dry hair you know to be completely honest you need to treat your hair a little bit more uh, especially you know if it's dry all the time so do everything that you can to keep giving it moisture because that's the only thing that will help you get rid of that dryness so try this treatment out and it'll, it'll be very nice to know you know how you got on with this it was just really good 
that I thought, you know what, I'm definitely going to share this. Um, because yeah, it's just, it's, it's just really good. It's really nourishing. It's got some amazing stuff in it that can, you know, certainly promote hair growth. And yeah, it's definitely one of my go-to type of, you know, people kind of treatment before I shampoo my hair. I think it's just amazing. Now you can do this maybe once a month if you want to, depending on, you know, how often you wash your hair, or you can do it like, you know, twice a month, or maybe once a week. If you're someone that washes your hair every single week, uh, look at that definition guys. Like look at the curls, like so, so amazing. And actually knowing that we didn't add any water, like I did not spray my hair with water before adding this. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just really good really good and you know after i shampooed my hair you will get to see what my hair looks like it was just looking amazing okay guys so if you've got to this point of the video and you haven't thumbs up yet what are you waiting for go ahead and thumbs up the video guys it really helps my videos you know reach more people um so we can grow you know a bit more so thank you so much for doing that in advance So at this point guys I was completely done applying it to applying it to my hair and this is what it looks like you know I completely used used up you know everything that I made I do ask, get asked this question quite a lot as well like you know can I keep this if, in all honesty I usually make stuff that I know I will use in one go so um, for this one I'm, I'm sure you probably can keep it but I'm not sure how long you will be able to keep it because I've never done it before so after I finish that guys I'm just putting a plastic bag on and I let this sit on my hair for about three hours and then I went ahead and shampooed my hair this is what my hair looks like after shampooing it's got so much volume you can't feel it but it feels extremely moisturized like I've never experienced this type of moisture after shampooing my hair like it's just so good and I use that you know regular shampoo um, but yeah really good nice and clean really moisturized and everything I would say definitely make sure that you rinse your hair well so you can get rid of you know all the powder is in it so this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching thumbs up the video if you liked it and subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next one bye